What's up guys, this is Ryan and I'm going to be doing a tutorial today on um, this indented or uh, cut out effect right here. So what this effect is, is basically it's um, it's an effect that makes your your graphic look like, look like it's indented or cut out of the picture. And uh, as you can see it looks like there's a layer below this. It looks like it's kind of stamped in or pressed in almost. Um, yeah, so uh, this is a really simple tutorial, so let's make this uh, quick and easy. And uh, you can use this on text, graphics, logos, whatever you want to use it on. It's a really widely known technique, widely used for web graphics and all that stuff. And it looks really clean, as you can see, on text as well. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it on this graphic right here, this logo. So just follow along, and you can use it on whatever you want. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the... Uh, basic outline of this effect. So what you want to do is uh, just look here real quick and there's three basic components drop shadow, inner shadow, gradient. The drop shadow gives you this nice contoured edge um, this 3D effect almost. The inner shadow gives it the depth and the gradient gives it some more depth added also. It's optional though but I like to use it. So um, I'm going to show you on a brand new graphic. So Let's go right here. Here's my new graphic. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Effects on the bottom. Make sure you select your layer. And we're going to go to Effects. And the first thing we're going to do is an inner shadow. So the inner shadow should be at 60%. You can play around with these settings, but for now, choose what I do, and then you can play around with it to make it look how you want it. Uh, the distance should be 8, choke 0, and size 18. So it's nice and soft, and um, it looks pretty nice so far, but that's just the first step. So what we want to do now is um, have your also have your angle uh, set to 50, uh, 53 degrees. Uh, that's the best angle for... I don't know, it looks the best for me. You can change it up, but uh, 53 looks the best, I think. And so then the next step is the drop shadow. The drop shadow needs to be normal. It needs to be white. Now, I don't recommend using a white background with this effect because you won't be able to see the uh, contoured edge. So the uh, drop shadow needs to be at 100% opacity, the same angle with global light, so it stays the same. Uh, the distance needs to be 1, the spread needs to be 1, and the size needs to be 1 as well. Uh, and now we have this nice little contoured edge uh, sort of 3D look going. And uh, the next step is gradient. Um, the gradient needs to be radial, black and white standard, reverse, 25% opacity, and scale it up all the way. So the gradient needs to be normal, blend mode, 25% opacity, uh, reverse black and white, I think I said radial already, but yeah, 90 degree angle, and the scale's 150. And uh, now we have this nice indented effect right here. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. You can add, uh, you can play around with the settings to make it look exactly how you want it. You can make it uh, deeper, uh, more contoured, um, and uh, basically, but if you want it to look uh, like mine, just use the exact same settings. I'll go through them one more time, I'll just show you them so you can pause the screen. There's the drop shadow. There's the inner shadow settings. And there's the gradient settings. Also, one more tip if you want to add a color. Go to Color Overlay and Shoes Overlay. And it doesn't always look the best, but another way you can do it is simply click on this right here. Command click in here, Layer Select. So you can hit Layer, Select Layer. And um, you can just fill it with a foreground color. So Edit, Fill. Uh, foreground color okay and there now I have a blue version of what I just did so the best way to probably add color to it is just to um, 
select layer. So you just click in here, command click in here. I think for PC it's control click. But uh, yeah, command click inside the layer and uh, edit fill with whatever color you want and it'll uh, change the color to your desired color. And there you go guys, that's the indented effect or cutout effect, uh, whatever you want to call it. Hope you learned something from this and uh, please like, comment, whatever you want to see next time. Thanks.